Hey, this is Ryan from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to be tying a pink squirrel waltz jig. I've got a Hens 154 jig hook and a 2.5mm copper tungsten bead in the vise. I'm using black 70 denier ultra shred. Start your shred at the front of the hook. And tie in. I've got some pink Hens pearl quill here. Right behind the bead. Bring that all the way to the back. About even with where the barb would be if this hook had a barb. And take some black. I'm using Nature Spirit Hairs mask dubbing here. Dub that onto your thread. Alright, and then kind of build a bit of a taper into it if you can. You want it to be, this doesn't have to be a super skinny fly by any means, so don't be afraid to give it a little bit of body. Okay, so then take this, your pearl quill, and we'll rib it, oh, three or maybe four times. Oops. Okay, tie that off. Just three or four wraps, tie that down, trim off your excess. And then take, I've got some pink Nature Spirit emergence dubbing here for a thorax. About enough. I'll give it a little brush when I get get through with the flies. So put a little extra on there just because you'll lose a little bit of it when you're brushing it. And then whip finish. Real easy fly. Seems like the black and pink for kind of small stream fish. Kind of started in the driftless region and now it's kind of <laughs> evolved everywhere and it seems to work just about everywhere. So I know our fish in the Black Hills definitely like the the kind of pink colors. So you can take and just kind of pick the Pick that dubbing out a little bit, or even better, you can just take and give it a little, little brush, not too much, just enough to make it kind of stick out a little bit, and then I take and kind of pull them all to, to length. So it's a pretty simple fly, there's not a whole heck of a lot to it, it doesn't get a lot easier than that, but super effective, you can tie it in any color scheme you want, but definitely don't... Uh, don't overlook the black and pink. Thanks.